The Arctic Freezer 33 TR is a trade report variant of the well-known affordable Freezer 33 CPU cooler. While both the original Freezer and the new TR version share the same overall design and construction among other things such as the packaging and included fan. The trade report Freezer variant has a couple of important changes that allow Arctic to create an affordable cooling solution for the trade report platform. The first and most important change is the base of the cooler. Having a larger surface area that makes contact with the CPU die and thus provides a better heat transfer and cooling. In addition, the base is a direct heat pipe style. This means that the four heat pipes make direct contact with the surface of the CPU. The heatsink is constructed using 49 all black aluminum fins. The sides of the fins are bent downwards to create an enclosed space for the airflow to move through the heatsink and thus facilitating the heat dissipation. The Freezer 33 TR uses the same four heat pipes that are found on the regular Freezer 33. These are made out of copper and have a diameter of 6mm each. These are arranged in the standard U shape to facilitate the direct contact design of the base of the cooler and the heat transfer of the heatsink. The fan used with the Freezer 33 Threadripper Edition is the same model included with the regular Freezer 33. The fan is part of the new Bionic series from Arctic and can be acquired separately. The model of the fan is F120 and as the name suggests, it is a 120mm fan with a thickness of just 27mm. The fan also features a PWM function and the variable speed starts at 200 RPMs and reaches 1800 RPM. The accessories for this cooler include all the usual components that assemble the mounting system and two additional metallic clips that will allow for a second fan to be installed on the heatsink. There is also a package of Arctic MX4 thermal compound included in the bundle but it is only 0.8 grams. Before we move on with the testing and performance of this cooler, we take a look at the base of the cooler and what coverage it offers for the Threadripper processor. Proper coverage of the surface of the Threadripper processors is important due to the design and dies of the CPUs under the heat spreader. Now that I've explained why the base of the coolers is very important for the Threadripper platform, we can take a look at the actual coverage in the case of the Freezer 33 TR edition. We start with the thermal compound spread on the actual cooler. As you can see, the thermal compound while covering the entire base did not do it evenly, the right side of the processor and base having much more compound than the rest. The installation process is fairly easy and once mounted on the processor, the Freezer TR offers plenty of access to the RAM slots and under the CPU socket area. In fact, there is plenty of room between the cooler and the graphics cards, enough so you could fit for example a SATA M.2 SSD in that area. With the cooler warmed up, we can display the results at full load with a Threadripper 2950X CPU at factory boost settings. The Freezer 33TR edition is also compared in our tests with a Noctua NH U14S TR SP3 to better present the performance of both coolers. However, the CPU was not overclocked due to the size of the tested coolers and their price points. As you can see, both coolers are performing within their size and cooling features. While the temperatures of the Arctic Freezer 33TR edition are on the high side, please remember that the 80 degrees were achieved at maximum load with a synthetic benchmark such as the Intel Burn Test. In addition, the ambient temperature is a fixed 26 degrees Celsius. In terms of sound generation, the Threadripper edition is using the same fan as the regular freezer and thus, the sound generated is identical. The, the 120mm fan maintaining a steady 30 decibels at its maximum speed of 1800 RPM. The Arctic Freezer 33TR edition has a maximum cooling capacity of 320 watts, but the manufacturer recommends a maximum load of 200 watts. However, the small 4 heat pipe equipped cooler manages to cool a 16 core and 32 threads CPU, while also being one of the most silent CPU coolers tested so far, not only on the Threadripper platform, but on the every platform. This cooler is then a good choice for the average user that for some reason uses a Threadripper build for gaming or anything that is not computing or rendering task related. Nevertheless, Arctic delivered for such a market with a small and affordable CPU cooler that will do its job. However, the final result will depend on the computer case used, the ambient temperature and of course the task that will use the CPU, because a synthetic benchmark will never showcase a real daily load on a CPU. I'd like to hear your thoughts about this cooler as it appears that there is a market for small Threadripper CPU coolers emerging. And as always, if you like the review, consider subscribing.